What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys the ultimate bunny day guide in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This video is going to showcase everything you need to know in order to get started with the event and maximize on all of your time. Trust me, I've gone through and streamed this entire event for over three hours and there's a lot to learn about it. So without further ado, let's jump on into it, shall we? So bunny day is going to be from April 1st through April 12th. That is a lot of time for you to go through and complete in order to collect every single one of these items here. How the event starts off is that Isabel tells you that it is Bunny Day and you'll run into Zipper T Bunny. He's totally not another animal in a costume. I don't know what you're even talking about. So anyway, after you listen to all of his hippity hop nonsense, he says that he's gone through and he hid eggs everywhere. He'll give you a DIY recipe for an egg bed and he'll say, hey, heads up, I'm gonna be here for day one and I'll see you guys on the last day of Bunny Day and then that's pretty much it. So you're left to your own devices. Now, once you're free to roam around your entire town, you have the ability to pretty much move around and collect all sorts of eggs. Now, there's going to be six elemental eggs within the game, so keep that in mind and we'll go over how to get all of these six of them. So the first of the six ones is going to be the sky eggs. Now the sky eggs could be only found from shooting down the floating presents in the rainbow balloons as they're floating around. So make sure that you guys turn your volume way up so that you guys can hear exactly what's going on. And when the music kind of like goes completely silent for a little bit, then you know that there's an egg in the vicinity. So use the right control stick on your Nintendo Switch controller and look upwards in the air, aim your slingshot and fire away for that one. Next up is going to be the earth egg. The earth eggs can be found simply by digging like you would fossils normally. Now these are going to be mixed in with fossils, so feel free to just dig up everything that you can possibly see. Now I've also heard reports from other people that these may refresh over time, so if you guys are playing in one full day, just because you dug out five or so of the earth ones doesn't necessarily mean that you're done for that specific day. Next up on the list is going to indeed be the leaf one. The leaf eggs are going to be pretty fun. These are going to be only available on trees that are the normal trees. Not the cedar trees, not the fruit trees, not the money trees, none of that stuff. It's going to be just based off of the regular tree. So. If you were like me and you chopped down every single one of your regular tree because they really had no use to them, then you may want to go over to Timmy and Tommy's shop and pick some up and start planting them and hope and pray that you can actually get these trees to help you farm some of those leaf ones. All right, next up is going to be the stone eggs. These stone eggs are a little bit more hard. They're just like a, I don't know, like a golden nugget or an iron nugget or a piece of clay or even yet a money rock. You head on over to one of your five rocks and you keep on hitting it and there's a random chance that there will be an egg that pops out of it. So those are a little bit more day limited. So I would say it's one of the more rare ones. All right, next up after that is going to be the water egg. So the water egg is only found in size three fishing silhouettes. So as you're kind of looking around, if you see the really, really tiny fish, you can run past them. If you see the really, really gigantic ones, you can run past that. You're looking for something directly in the middle. And I've tested it out plenty of times and I got a lot of reports saying that fish bait doesn't spawn any of the eggs. So hold on to that fish bait until you really want to start fishing for that rare fish of yours. And last but not least, we have the wood eggs. The wood eggs are on board simply by chopping away at trees. If you chop away at the trees with a stone ax or a flimsy ax, you'll be able to get three things that pop out. Whether it be wood, softwood, or hardwood, sometimes in the mix you can get a wooden egg. So a lot of people have trees in their town. You can even go as far as uh, hitting all of your tropical trees on your uh, beaches because those don't attract any wasps. So anyway, have at it and hopefully you can break a couple of flimsy axes so that you can get it more towards getting that golden axe. All right, so next up, we are going to be talking about the DIY recipes in the game. The DIY recipes are only found in one of three different ways. Now, as you guys are shooting things out of the sky, you can indeed shoot down a rainbow little balloon over here. And if it doesn't instantly turn into an egg on the drop down and it stays a present, 
That is indeed going to be a DIY recipe for one of the specific egg items within the game. So that's very fun. So just keep an eye out. So you'll get those naturally while farming for the sky eggs. Next up is going to be sifting the shores for messages in a rainbow bottle. Now, I've done this a couple times and I've gotten a couple recipes off of this. This is actually kind of cool, but it's very few and far between. I would honestly say maybe once every couple of hours, if not once a day. That's what it worked out for me, but either way, uh, individual results may vary. So once you pop open that one, there's going to be a DIY recipe in there for one of the furniture items. Keep that in mind. And last but not least is going to be based off of if one of your animal villager runs up to you and then says, hey, Abdallah, or hey, whatever your name is, kind of like how you would get a reaction in the game. It's exactly like that. And the odds are pretty slim on that one. I don't know, me personally, I don't really talk to a lot of my animals in the game. So maybe it doesn't happen that often, but if you're one of those villagers or players that plays Animal Crossing and you're like best friends with all the animals, maybe you might be able to get those way easier. Not really sure. But anyway, those are the three ways of doing it. So one of the other things in the game is, uh, in order to get some recipes, is based off of an auto DIY recipe. Now the auto DIY recipes are based off of collecting a certain amount of eggs per element. So for example, uh, if you have the sky eggs, for example, if you shoot down, let's say 20 of them or approximately around that range on the 20th one, if that's what we're calling it, that one will net you an auto DIY recipe. You're going to look up, you're gonna say, oh, now I know how to craft these things. And then you'll be able to craft three things of that specific element. Same thing with the earth, as you're digging around in the dirt, and you get X amount of these many different earth eggs, you will get a DOI recipe. Same thing with leaf, stone, water, and wood. So have at it, make sure that you guys go on board and you start attacking all of those. Get every single one of them, collect them. Because once you collect all three of the different specific recipes, as you guys can see on screen over here, these are all the recipes for all the elementals. Once you're done collecting all those, you'll have access to two exclusive ones, which is definitely going to be the party hat, which is right over here, and the party dress, which is kind of cool. So I like it a lot. So guys, there are over 40 different DIY recipes within the game. This is just a small sample of what's available. I've even got some items over here that I can't even display, such as a Bunny Day Wreath, a Bunny Day Glowy Garland, a Bunny Day Wall Clock. We've got the Bunny Day Bed over here. We've got a little stool that you could sit on. There's so much stuff over here. And the thing is that the Zipper T Bunny, he actually teases you at the beginning saying, I'm gonna give you something special if you collect every single item there is, which is great considering the fact that CJ's like little fishing tournament, he doesn't tell you anything about that, that there's an end goal. Or you should try to aim for 300 points. He doesn't say anything like that, so kind of a bummer. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to it. Now, this video is going to be a part one. It's gonna give you the basics of everything that you need to know. Part two is going to be me showing you every single DIY recipe and showcasing what all these items look like in your house. Of course, we do indeed have the bunny day flooring, we have the bunny day wall, and then there's a couple things that I can't necessarily display on the outside. So look forward to that video in a couple days when me and uh, our awesome Discord members and team uh, jump on board and grab every single one of these items for you. Okay, so before I go into a little showcasing of what the DIY recipes look like, I do want to address people who play Animal Crossing with a more customized approach. Don't worry. Don't worry at all about time travel with this, at all. You're going to be perfectly fine. There's nothing that's going to stop you from doing it as long as you're going into system settings and changing your dates accordingly um, with whatever date and time you're gonna do within, uh, what is that, the first day of April all the way through the 12th. As long as you do that, you are absolutely fine. It is an update in the game. So keep that in mind as you guys are going on through over here. It may say version 1.1.1 in your like press start, but if you're at the, um, the title screen, it's going to say 1.1.1a, which means that you're already updated for this event. So regardless if you're, if you're, if you're in 2020 or if you're in year 2050, it doesn't matter. You can absolutely come back to April 1st and start up this event. And if you need more time with the event, let's say for example, 12 days isn't enough for you, you can indeed 
stall out the time and just keep on farming this stuff because in about three and a half hours this is exactly what i was able to catch with the help of some friends as well so anyway all right so i'll give you guys a sneak peek of the recipes that i have here again this is not complete so look forward to the full one uh this is the full set here so i'm gonna go over to um yeah we're gonna click on series so uh bunny day stool you can see that it, it costs a certain amount of eggs here's the lamp eggs uh some of these require one of each of them and then I'll just kind of scroll through these so that you can see just a general understanding that you're going to need a lot of different eggs in order to craft everything. Now, I don't have the answer of what exactly happens on the last day of Bunny Day. I'm going to leave that for you guys, and I won't spoil it yet. Um, so, yeah, you guys have some time. So go through, mess around with these eggs, collect all the items that you can, and just have a fun time with it. It is absolutely fun trying to get every single thing here. It may be a little bit of a grind, but trust me, I enjoy it a lot. All right, so there you have it, ladies and gents, a little bit of a, a sneak peek and, uh, and everything that you need to know guide. Stay tuned for the second part where we're gonna show you guys everything in the collection and find out what he gives you for collecting everything on board. So guys, you guys are amazing. Thanks for all of your support on every single one of these Animal Crossing videos. We are going through the roof with memberships. We're going through the roof with subscribers. Let's continue going. One million is right around the corner and we can absolutely do it. So I'm gonna need your help. Be sure to hit that subscribe button hit the like button and share the video with a friend. Let's get more people out here to learn more about Bunny Day so that you guys can go through, grind the event, get all your items, and have a fun time while doing it. We'll see you on the next one. And of course, if you guys want to trade and talk amongst yourselves, discord.gg slash Abdallah. We'll see you later. Take care.